Hey skaters, welcome to another episode of Vic Skate School. Today we're going to look into something very race specific, how to skate a track, an inline track like this one. There is a lot of different tracks. We're not going to talk specifically about bank or parabolic track. We're just going to talk about tracks in general. So some things might apply to some tracks, but not to others. But I'm going to go into details with that in a few seconds. There's four different ways of skating a track like this. There's the classic in, in, in where for the entire track, you just stay towards the inside of the track. Great things about this one is that it's very easy to protect that line. It's also gonna be the shortest track possible. So you're gonna skate fewer meters. And obviously that's a nice thing because you wanna make it to the finish line as fast as possible. The bad things about this is that if you go very fast, it's gonna be slippery on some tracks. And those tracks where you don't slip, like Vesmaco tracks that we know from Geisingen and so on, well, you're not gonna slip as much, but it's gonna be very hard for the legs because it's gonna put more pressure on you because it's gonna be a narrow turn. A way to avoid this is by doing the out, in, out. Where well, you start the turn by skating up into the banking, using that speed from the straightaway, rolling onto this and then diving in. This, unlike the other in, 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 is not gonna be as narrow and it's easier to carry more speed through the turn without having to deal with that same pressure. So it's a much, much better way to skate easier turns at a higher pace. The downside about this is that you can't protect the line. It's very likely that skaters that would want to pass you can dive in in the entrance of the turn right here and then pass you on the inside. Of course, they will have to, to drift a little or at least try and limit their crossovers in order to turn. But by that time, they will have passed you. So that's gonna be your issue too. If you would still want to stay relaxed, but also protect your line to avoid people passing you at the entrance of the corner is what we call the wave. It means in, in, and then out. And then you're smoothly doing a wave on the straightaway like I demonstrate here. So the idea is that you roll into the turn, you can save some energy because you're gonna stay tight. And at that point, people do not really pass you. And later on, when you get to the exit of the turn, you just roll out to the outer side of it. And then you're going to do this wave where you flow back in. And then people are very limited in terms of passing you, which is a great plus when skating in a pack. And on the top of this, people are going to push you in the back so you can generate some speed from stealing that from your competitors. And then the final way of skating is doing a full out, out, out. So you take the banking. On some tracks that are evenly banked, this makes no sense at all. But on tracks like this one where it's parabolic, so you can gain more from being all the way up here because it won't slip because there's more of an incline unlike the center of the track. Well, you can gain a lot. You can obtain and maintain higher speeds and there's no slipping at all. So this can be a speed booster for you and a nice way to accelerate, to pass or even try and break away because you don't have to worry about slipping at all. Those are the four different ways to skate on a track, whether it's banked or parabolic. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you want to check out the rest of Vic Skate School and my YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, see you for next time. Before I let you go, let me just introduce Graspore. This little sleeve measures your muscle oxygen levels. It's my weapon leading up to 2026. And with this, you can make sure that you have the correct intensity in every single workout. Check it out, link below.